Hey guys, just recently launched my brand new element for Bricks Builder for Builder I absolutely love. It calls click and copy. So it allows you actually just put this um, element and uh, user can click on this element and the uh, content, uh, provided content will be copied to the clipboard. Actually, that's it. Let me demonstrate how it works. So, um, Let's imagine that you would like to build a website with promo codes. For this, you have to implement this button, which allows the users copy some promo codes, right? And um, so let's see how it works. I opened in Quick Notes and let me demonstrate. I'm clicking here. As you can see, changed, the text changed. And boom, the promo codes. So the next one, boom, copied. And the next, so everything works well without any issue and that's the main point for using this uh, element so um yeah let me demonstrate how it works from inside which settings uh, it contains so let me refresh refresh this page so uh you can find this element after installing this plugin uh under the name click and copy pretty simple and what kind of settings it has. So let me demonstrate it by default. By default, it seems, uh, it looks like a simple button, but with some additional settings. So as you can see here, you can manipulate with size, uh, with uh, some styles, and make it, for example, a circle, right? Unfortunately, not all fields are supported here, maybe layout, mm, not sure. So definitely custom CSS works. You can manipulate with styles and yeah, play around here. Main logic is here, uh, button text and copied content. So how it works. By default, you have several params here before text click. It means that the uh, button contained the text before user click this uh, button. So copy button, let's I'll rename it. As you can see here changed. And once we clicked uh, this button, some text should appear uh, that allow, um, allows users understand that it's copied, right? And we can, for example, add copied. And the content. It supports static content. You can put here whatever you want, or you can use dynamic data. So pretty the same how, how it works for every field here in, in Bricks. Let's it be here the uh, default text. So and uh, animation delay actually it will be it will call it will be called uh, text switched. So it means that after two seconds um, the text will be switched back to before uh, click text. That's it. So let me demonstrate from this button which I created from scratch. I copy it, clicking here, boom. Copy it. As you can see here, I can paste this text. Uh, also supports, oops, spelling mistake, dynamic text. That's it. So uh, idea is simple. I didn't want to buy some uh, pretty expensive plugin because of one this element. Uh, so that's why I saved me around 300 bucks uh, and I can share it to you. So thank you for your attention. Uh, hopefully you will install this plugin and uh, I appreciate for any feedback. Thank you. See you. And yeah, confetti. Why not? Woo